Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video, let's have a look at uh, how Solidar simulation can help in uh, handling huge assemblies which are made up of sheet metal or surfaces and in turn when they get into simulation, they are actually using surface elements or shell elements. So this is a relatively simple assembly, but you can observe it is made up of multiple uh, sheet metal parts. There are a few surface entities also more for modeling purpose and this is this looks a fairly complex model so imagine if this model had to be treated or simulated using shell elements uh, even though it is easy it is quite a bit of task to to simulate this entire setup now let me show you how it how or the which option which that i want to highlight today so this is a ready setup so i'm not spending much time on creating all this stuff but you will see something called as um, shell manager down here uh, you can see when you right mouse button click on one of the surface entities you will get into something called a shell manager now of course in my case i had already created the setup so it it appears to be ready down here but if not as well you will at least get this basic front end of the shell manager let me try to make this bigger okay here it is hmm. uh, let me get rid of this okay so first of all you can see all the surface entities will be listed down here with of course at the moment certain entities already have been assigned some values so that's what it is showing uh, you can as well create groups here you can see using features etc but if I to show you a few um, visual things, when I select thickness, it can show you different shells of different thickness on the graphics here, as well as those are correlated somewhere down from here. So not only that, you can click on any of the thicknesses, change the values and play as per your requirement. So you, uh, you can see in a single uh, front end, you can do these multiple things uh, comfortably first is that second similarly you can visualize materials as well as change the materials being assigned uh, for the different shells uh, you can as well see the uh, offset locations of different uh, shells and all those finer things so this single front end down here will help you control the entire setup just using this table and uh, at least in the past as well as if other softwares you will find it that you need to actually go to each shell uh, find out those values or play with those things and it is it is indeed a uh, tiresome task it is not easy uh, few other things to highlight you can also play with having it as a thin shell or a thick shell you can change the units you can flip the shells which is equally important for shell elements um, especially for stress results you can offset the location of these shells based on the place where the actual surface has been selected you can play with that and all all these kind of things can be done down here so this is it a interesting feature especially can help you in large assemblies uh, or large parts where you have multiple uh, surfaces and 